welcome back to my channel guys it's been a couple days since our last post for vlogmas but it's january 1st so you already know what it means it's my birth month takeover i came to lend y'all this drip so if you want to know how i got this look then please stay tuned So here I'm just blending a little bit in my crease with a neutral brown just to get some type of transition color going. I'm literally, y'all, being super lazy. I'm taking a little bit of like shimmery eyeshadow, putting it on my finger and swiping it across my eye. Because truth be told, your girl ain't going nowhere. She gonna have a party by herself, okay? <laughs> so yeah, I'm just putting that on the eyelid. Literally, you can see it's just slapping it on there go back in with my blending brush blend it out a bit y'all the key to any eyeshadow is just blending for real and it's very easy but tedious if you really about that blending life i just slap it on there for real i'm just taking a little small eyeshadow brush and packing the color in so it's a little more vibrant than what my finger was giving off Putting it all on the lid. Going back in with the blending brush, y'all. Blending is key. My homegirl be blending her stuff to the gods, though, y'all. I don't have time for all that. Shout out to my homegirl, Gib. Yeah, y'all. Still blending. <laughs> going in with my Great Lash by Maybelline. Just going to put that coat lord i'm just gonna coat my lashes with um uh some mascara i'm sorry yeah i can't get it again <laughs> today y'all i'm doing something i never do anymore i used to not go anywhere without a wing eyeliner but lately in the last year and a half two i haven't worn one but yeah just putting a small little wing liner on there decided since it's a nighttime look go ahead and pop a little cat eye on her. so i already got one lash on and you already know these are lashes from my company lash by libby on the label this is the fan favorite pair if you like this pair you might want to comment down below and say bring fan favorite back because i don't know if fan favorite will be back in 2019 Going in with my Fenty Beauty Primer, y'all. If you have Fenty Beauty Foundation or not, this primer is so lit. I have sensitive skin, and it just still works for me, even though it has a slight scent, and the scent is amazing. That's my photo finish prime, uh, primer-like stuff that I got from Smashbox. I got it in a little three-pack kit for like $20, and I like it, so I'm going to have to repurchase like the actual size. These are like the travel sizes, so I'm just priming my face. Going in with my orange color corrector by LA Girl, uh, LA Girl. Just gonna blend that out around my mouth and under my eyes where I have a little hyperpigmentation. Now I'm gonna go in with my foundation. I'm using the Becca foundation. I don't remember my shade. I think it's Sierra or Sienna or something like that. Not sure. Just putting that all over my face. I only use one pump or two, guys. Going in with a big, fluffy powder brush, really, and blending that out. Then I go in with my concealer to get ready to highlight and contour. Again, the key to everything is to just blend it out. So I'm using a little brush to blend out my highlight. I find that when you let your concealer sit a little bit before blending it out, it is perfect. So stop blending your concealer out as soon as you put it on, y'all. Let it get a little, you know, what's the word, tacky, I guess. And then blend her out, sis, and you will be sitting, honey. Yeah, just still blending. Y'all, use your fingers. Use whatever is best for you. I'm going to go in now with my Sasha Buttercup 
um, setting power. Oh, yeah, I'm almost out. So, your girl gonna have to re up. And you know, it takes forever to get stuff here from Korea. So, I don't know if I'm gonna get the Lord Mercier since it's at the PX or go ahead and order my Sasha Buttercup. But I've been rocking with it for years. So, I'm just setting my face, baking a bit. While I'm still baking, I'm going and blend out my contour. And again, blending to the gods. Now it's my favorite part. Time to highlight me. I'm using, using a, a limited edition highlighter from MAC. From a Star Trek collection they had. And I'm just going in on the high points of my cheek. On the bridge of my nose. Forehead. Chin. You can highlight wherever you want, but these are the normal places. You can even highlight your cupid's bow. I normally do that, but I didn't. I don't think I did that today. But yes, honey, if you want to look like like you can't go out for New Year's Eve and not highlight, like you gotta be highlighted to the gods. I actually feel like I ain't highlight enough now that I'm thinking about it. It was a New Year's look. This the one time I can look like a whole disco ball, and it is okay. I'm going in with that purple shade in the middle of that Milani. I can't remember the name of it. I think it's called Make Believe Illusion. But I got that little trio highlighter from Walmart, y'all. It's so lit. I'm going to go in and line my lips. We almost done with the look, y'all. Today, I think I'm going to overline my lips. And when you overline your lips, they make them look real full and luscious and popping. So if you pay attention to the top of the lip, I'm going to where the outside of my lip line is. That's what it means to overline your lips. We're going to try to look a little luscious today. I mean, it is New Year's Eve. I mean, it is my birth month takeover. Let a girl live. Going in with this shade Nudie Patootie by Mega Lash. It's uh, was Wet and Wild by Mega Lash Liquid Cat Suit. It's cruelty free too, y'all. And I got it for the free. No, nah, not the free, but I got it for like two dollars and something on clearance. So you know I'm winning. Just going in and tightening up everything with this brown lip liner from NYX or NYX, whatever you want to call it. My favorite, y'all. My favorite shit. Jesus. My favorite setting spray, the matte finish by NYX. Going in with a generous, generous amount of that. You want it to stay set all day, even though your girl ain't going nowhere. And this is the final look, y'all. Happy New Year, everybody. It's 2019. Welcome to this new year of great things. Go ahead and hit that bell for notifications so you can catch all this birth month drip.